Hi there, my name is Dave Keller. I'm the president and chief strategist at Sierra Alpha Research uh, based in Cleveland, Ohio. So I help financial advisors and institutional investors to make better decisions and uh, do that in a couple different ways, help them uh, maximize returns, manage risk, and bring more mindfulness and awareness to their uh, investment process. I also enjoy incorporating non-financial topics into financial topics, so I'm a student pilot, I'm a musician, and so a lot of the, the best ideas I think you can uh, bring as an investor are learning from other disciplines, learning from other activities. And I write a blog at marketmisbehavior.com. So I'm a student pilot. I've got about 80 some uh, hours in a Cessna 172R, which is a pretty classic training uh, airplane. And uh, from the moment I started uh, learning to fly, I would always chat with my flight instructor about the similarities between investing and flying um, because flying requires discipline. It requires taking the emotion out of it. You're often in very stressful situations and you have to be able to function in that environment. So the similarities to trading are hilariously uh, common. So one of the ways my flight instructor always used to coach me was to tell me to be ready. And what that means is anytime you were flying an airplane, you always had to have an emergency plan in your mind, right, in place. So, you know, a lot of uh, the flying process is done when you're still on the ground and it's figuring out where you're going to go, registering a flight plan. And part of that is all along the way, if I'm flying from point A to point B, where are all the opportunities where I could have an exit plan? What are airports that I might go to? So, you know, I might look for an abandoned, abandoned airstrip, which in an emergency, I could probably get there. Or, you know, as you're flying around, you're always looking around, there's a golf course, there's a highway with no power lines. You know, you're always thinking, if something would happen right now, you know, what, what do you do? Uh, and the worst time that I, that I uh, the worst experience of mine learning that was, uh, when I first was starting to to learn about emergency preparedness, your flight instructor will often just yank the throttle out. So you're flying, you know, everything's fine, 6,000 feet, no problem. All of a sudden, the whole plane just goes, boom, and it just drops very quickly. And, uh, and he says, all right, you just lost your engine. What do you do? And of course, the first thing you do is you completely panic. <laughs> you lose it. And, you know, your, your, your heart starts beating. It, you know, jumps up here. There's this whole physical sensation of falling, which is uncomfortable. And you feel like the plane's not doing what you expect it to. And so the first thing you do, like, I mean, the thing's jumping around. It's windy. I'm flopping around. I'm trying to find some paper uh, checklist so I can go through. All right, we just lost the engine. What do I do? And I'm you know, slowly trying to pick all these things together. And I was a total mess at it. Um, and again, it was totally safe. The instructor was there to make sure it was fine. But it was the mo one of the most uncomfortable things I've done. Um, and then three months later, he does the same trick. He pulls the, the throttle out and goes, all right, you just lost your engine. What do you do? And of course, at this point, after doing a bunch of time, I'm like, oh, I get that, 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 that. And you just, you know, you just know what to do. You know, it's not a physical reaction anymore. You just know, yep, I lost my engine. This is what I do. I check this and this and this and this and this. And so what you learn is in a stressful situation and literally a physically stressful situation, which as a trader, when you experienced loss for the first time, is a very similar set of physical reactions, right? It's your heart beating more, it's uncomfortable, you start sweating, but you still have to make an emotionless decision or make a disciplined decision as a result. What do you do, right? I always coach my, uh, my clients to have a good exit strategy. When you put a position on, when you um, have a, uh, a game plan in mind, what set of scenarios would cause that to be wrong, right? What market movement or what movement in that specific position would tell you that that is incorrect? And then how, what will you do about it? And the reason why you do that ahead of time is because if you have a position and it drops 8%, let's say you have a trailing stop or you have a percent stop or you have something in mind, it's no longer a question. It's not a subjective decision. Oh, do I still want to hold on to that? Am I sure that that's still something that deserves to be in my portfolio? You've already said ahead of time, if X, Y, Z happens, I'm going to do this. And you just do it. Um, that allows us to not make an emotional reaction to what we're seeing. It allows us to make a more disciplined, uh, emotionless reaction to a set of, uh, a set of conditions that we've already uh, sort of anticipated. So I think where human investors can be very uh, effective is having the creativity to think about what are all the things that could happen wrong for my portfolio and what am I going to do about that and lay it out ahead of time.